Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. Now, we want to find the value of x from this. So, for our solution, we first start with x minus 4 to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. Now, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to subtract x to the power of 4 on both sides. So then, for my right-hand side, these two are going to cancel out. For my left-hand side, I'm going to have x minus 4 to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4. This is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, we, think that we can think of x minus 4 to the power of 4. We can think of x minus 4 as a, and we can think of 4 as m times n. So 4, this is the same thing as 2 times 2, right? So a, we have a to the power of 2 times 2. And we can rewrite this as a to the power of m to the power of n, meaning a to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So x minus 4 to the power of 4, this is the same thing as x minus 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Minus, now I'm going to do the same thing with x to the power of 4. x to the power of 4, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x minus 4 squared, and b is equal to x squared. So this would be a plus b. So x minus 4 squared minus x squared times x minus 4 squared plus x squared. This is equal to 0. Now we can go ahead and expand this a little bit so we can simplify. So x minus 4 squared, this is equal to x minus 4 times x minus 4. And now this is equal to, if I distribute the x, I get x times x. So x squared, x times negative 4 is negative 4x. And then negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Now, negative 4x minus 4x, that's going to equal negative 8x. So I have x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now, we know that x minus 4 squared is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. So now if we put that in, we get x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus x squared times x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus x squared. This is equal to 0. Now, for my left-hand side, x squared and negative x squared, these two can simply cancel out. So I'd be left with negative 8x plus 16 times, now x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. So times 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So now, this is going to give me two equations. I have negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. And I also have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, for negative 8x plus 16 equals 0, this is a simple equation. I'm first going to subtract both sides by 16. So then these two cancel out, and I have negative 8x 
is equal to negative 16. Now I can divide both sides by negative 8. These two cancel out. Now I'd be left with x is equal to negative 16 divided by negative 8 is positive 2. Because the negative of the negative is going to be a positive. So that is one solution of x. Now to find our two other solutions, because this is a quadratic equation and quadratic equations always have two solutions, we are going to first solve this equation. And to do that, I'm going to first divide both sides by 2 because all of these terms have a factor of 2. So if I divide all these terms by 2, 2x two squared divided by 2, these two will cancel out, and I'll be left with x squared. Negative 8x divided by 2 is going to be negative 4x, because negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. And positive 16 divided by 2 is going to be positive 8. And this is equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. Anything divided by 0 divided by anything is going to be 0. So now I have x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to 8. So now I have x is equal to negative b, which is negative negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8. Now I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 1. Now I have x is equal to negative, and negative is positive, so I have positive 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared, negative times negative is positive, so negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 minus 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 8 is 32, so I have negative 32, all over 2 times 1 is 2. Now I have x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 is negative 16 over 2. Now, we could rewrite the square root of negative 16 as the square root of positive 16 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1, this is equal to the imaginary number i. So now, I can replace the square root of negative 1 with the imaginary number i. So I have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16i over 2. Now the square root of 16, that's equal to 4. So now I have x is equal to 4 plus or minus 4i over 2. Now if I divide 2 by both of these terms, I get x is equal to 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I have 2 plus or minus 4i divided by 2 is 2i. So my three solutions to this are x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2 plus 2i, and x is equal to 2 minus 2i. So these are my three solutions to this problem. Mm -hmm.